Hi, Greg Dell with Attorneys Dell and Schaefer. And Stephen, today's question is, how does Unum define disability? It's a very, it's a, it's a great question. And because every policy does things differently, but how would you start generally in the beginning of a claim? How does Unum define disability? Generally in the beginning of a claim, it's gonna be our, you know, uh, the you're unable to perform the material and substantial duties of your regular or own occupation due to an injury or sickness. Uh, generally, that'll carry you for about 24 months, and then the language will then uh, d change to the inability to perform the material and substantial duties of any gainful occupation based upon your training, education, and experience. All right, so let's dive into this definition of, of disability because a lot of people think it's, I can't do anything. Is that, I mean, if, if they can still live their life and do normal activities, can they still qualify for benefits under the policy? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we see attempts by Unum to do video surveillance and show that this person is, you know, going grocery shopping, doing these things and trying to say that's how somehow correlates to the ability to work. But these policies are written in such a way, and it's important too to let a doctor know that, that this isn't that, you know, you're bedridden and you can't do anything. This is the inability to perform work duties, whether in your own occupation or any occupation, with some resemblance of reasonable continuity. Like, can you show up and do the job? Uh, so this is, you know, not a limit on what you can do normally. Uh, you have to know that an insurance company, Unum, is going to use it against you if they find something they think is, is contradictory to what you've reported. But these policies are specifically related to the inability to work. Now, the disability definition contains these words, unable to perform the duties of your own occupation or regular occupation. Is it really that person's occupation or is there another standard often defined within the policy for the words own occupation? They do. Usually once you get down into the definition section, it's going to talk about your own occupation or regular occupation means the broad general idea of how the job is performed in the national economy, not how you do it for your employer or at a specific location, but how it's done in the national economy. So they'll look at various different either Department of Labor sources or other, you know, vocational resources to determine what your job is and how it's, you know, generally performed throughout the country. And how can a claim claimant prove what their occupation is? Well, you know, most of the time, Unum's just going to go back to what the employer tells them, you know, job descriptions, stuff like that. And if you work for a large enough company, usually your job description will have an associated, uh, you know, code um, that can be plugged into these, you know, vocational resources to give you, you know, that generalized generic description. And the Unum definition of disability usually changes after a 24 month period to an any gainful occupation. What is that? So any gainful occupation, and generally there's there's sometimes not always a caveat, like it'll pay you 60% of your predisability earnings, so or roughly the amount you're making for a benefit, but any gainful occupation, uh, people will first get you know acquainted with this when they get the first claim forms for activities of daily living, where they're asking about you know your job history, your educational background, can you use the computer, what type of programs can you use? What they're doing is starting to set up a vocational data bank that they'll have their depart vocational department look at and say, well, here are some jobs they've done in the past, skills they have. So we think that these are other jobs that they may be able to do. So after that point, Unum's not looking, can you do your job? Um, it's rather, can you do some other type of job? And, and quite often we see denials of benefits during that transition. So I would say that understanding your definition of disability as the claim evolves, even from the beginning, you know, through every stage is essential key to keeping yourself on benefits or even getting your claim approved. We have tons of videos about handling appeals, ongoing claim handling, lawsuits, everything to deal with Unum and tons of articles and information available on our website that we recommend that you take a look at. We also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're regularly doing videos such as this where we're answering your questions. But most importantly, if you have a direct question related to your claim, no matter what stage you're at, feel free to give us a call. Any of our lawyers will help you. We always provide initial free consultation to discuss your claim. We help claimants all over the country and we look forward to the opportunity to speak with you.